Uh, yet another day I was going to build an X-Wing, but this has got to wait because there's huge news from the Batman franchise. There's a ginormous 4,000 piece Batman set coming out. We're going to take a look at that today. I promise you I'll get to this X-Wing build sooner or later, but today is all about Batman. There's no script, no outline. I woke up like not that long ago, found out this is being released. So we get to experience this together. Let's dive right in. We'll go into pricing pieces and details here shortly. Let's take a look at the pictures first and see what we got cooking. So from an initial glance, I honestly don't know what's going on here. We have the Batman symbol. You see the Batcave on the inside. Um, it's a shadow box. I'm not familiar with shadow boxes personally, but from what I can tell, this looks like it's going to be a display piece, something to go either on a shelf, maybe hang up on the wall. Gosh, this is 4,000 pieces, so that might be too heavy. So probably more of a shelf display piece. I mean, they're tailoring this towards adults and typically we like to build things and place it somewhere, put it up for display. So this, this definitely makes sense. I know some people like to have more of the interactivity with it, but maybe this set will surprise us. So let's let's dive in even further. But let's check out some of the details on the inside. We have the, the Batmobile, you have Bruce Wayne and Alfred hanging out over here. And it looks like, from, a, from what I can tell already, there's gonna be a lot of Easter eggs in this one. So I'm looking forward to see seeing what Lego has in store for us. And from looking at the box, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a huge box. I see some of the minifigures up top. I'm sure we'll have a separate photo for that. But this is from Batman Returns. On the side, uh, we have Catwoman and the Penguin. And looks like in the bottom right, you have that snowy Batman symbol. So from Batman Returns, a huge fan of the Tim Burton Batman films from a long time ago. Also a massive Batman fan. So if any of you out there are fans of those films and Batman in general, this is gonna be a really cool set. Let's take a look at the inside of the Batcave. So it looks like, looks like the shadow box opens up, which is amazing. And we have, we have a full Batcave on display here. Looks like there's a spot specifically for the Batmobile to just kind of park and hang out. And then there's some bat gadgets on the side. Check out the details with the bat suit. I, I, wonder, I wonder if that maybe turns. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, we have like a command center over on the side as well. But I like that on the top here, you can see that there are these uh, yellow lights. Um, I, I doubt that this lights up. I'm sure there's gonna be third party sellers that'll make some really cool lighting sets for this, which would be really, really neat to see. But so far I'm liking the details. I like that there's a Batman symbol above the Batmobile over here. So initial impressions so far from me, uh, is is must buy as a huge Batman fan I, I'm gonna need to try to get this one on day one and here we have a closer look at the Batmobile itself it's more of a smaller scale but this is the 1989 Batmobile which is just one of the classics that's my favorite Batmobile out of all of them so it's cool to see that they have that included we have our 1989 Batman right there some details on the back it looks like there's going to be some interactivity with the command center, uh, possibly with the suit changing. Uh, looks like his chair will spin. So it looks like there's a lot of cool interactivity with the set. It's about uh, 20 inches wide, 51 centimeters wide, um, and 11 inches tall, or 29 centimeters. So, okay, so almost a couple feet wide, about a foot tall. That's that's. That's pretty sizable and 4,000 pieces, it's gonna be a really, a really fun build. And uh, now we have a sense of scale in this photo. This set is huge, oh my gosh. I don't even know if this would, if this would go up on a shelf, to be honest with you. This might be something you may have on a table tucked away somewhere. Wow, this thing's massive. And just look at the size of that table to have this set open up all the way, that's, that's pretty impressive. I don't even know if I'll be able to fit it in my studio here. Uh, hopefully I can pick this one up, but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky to show you what the inside's gonna look like. I'll have to figure something out for that. But this set looks huge. Um, obviously all of the colors chosen, you have your grays and, and your blacks, of course, for Batman. I mean, you know, it's giving it that, that cave vibe. This is, this is super cool. And here it is propped up 
kind of like on a counter shelf over here, which looks like this will be great for display. If you're a huge Batman fan, I think this will go along excellently with your collection. And we have our mini figures here. It looks like we have most of the cast from the 1989 Batman. And I'm sorry, from uh, Batman Returns came out in 1992, I think it was. It was, it was early 90s. So have our Batman Returns cast here looking pretty cool. And uh, yeah, overall, this set is looking pretty sweet. Okay, now for the moment of truth. This looks like an amazing display piece, but for those of you that like interactivity with these types of sets, let's see what we have in store. Okay, that mini Batmobile is very recognizable. I, I love that mini scale to it, it looks great. This set does, does look so huge, and look, look at the wingspan when you open that thing up. Wow. Okay, that's, that's more interactivity than, than I was expecting. The machine guns popped up out of the Batmobile. There was like a, like a drawbridge sort of action from the Batsuit, a light popped up. To get to some of the Bat gadgets, you would have these sliding doors that would open. Super cool, super, super cool. As a, as a Batman fan, I am, I am super impressed. So this set is just shy of 4,000 pieces. It's for adults 18 plus. Looking at the box for the second time, I do see batteries included on the bottom right. It was very nice to be surprised by that in the video. Okay, the set retails for $400, which is a lot of money, but pretty much every Lego set these days is gonna be expensive. I totally get it. But for 4,000 pieces, it's from the early Batman movies, which are incredibly iconic. You get a huge display piece that opens up, a lot of interactivity involved, it's the Batcave, you get the Batmobile, there's a lot of amazing minifigures that are included, and there's tons of interactivity, even a part of it lights up. I think that that's a really good price, really for any fan of Batman or DC, uh, even if you're just a Lego fan in general and kind of like Batman, I think this would be a really cool set. I'm super impressed, I think that's a great deal. This set comes out on June 8th, I'm probably really biased about this, but this set looks incredible. I'm gonna try to get it on day one and do a build and a showcase for it. Thank you once again to our Patreon members. You helped us pick up this X-Wing. I promise I'll do a build and a showcase for it. Your contributions will go towards sets like this Batcave as well. So thank you so much. If you want to help contribute, I'll put a link down into the description below. And if you want to see even more nostalgic content, check out our video here where we take a look at nostalgic icons from the 80s and 90s. There's eight amazing sets from video game consoles to Batman, Back to the Future. Check it out if you love nostalgia. I think you'll really enjoy it and I'll catch you there.